It's the busiest single runway airport in the United States, and they're rebuilding it while it's still operating. San Diego International Airport is getting a $4 billion makeover that will change everything. 30 new gates, a glass terminal the size of 20 football fields, and a design that cuts aircraft emissions while speeding up boarding. The new Terminal 1 will include a 5,200 space parking structure, electric shuttle roads, and even space for future transit connections, all built in phases so passengers never stop flying. This isn't just an upgrade, it's one of the most complex, high-stakes airport transformations happening anywhere in the country. Over 1,600 workers are on site daily using digital models to plan every bolt and beam in real time. So how do you completely rebuild a vital airport on a tiny site without shutting it down for a single day? San Diego International Airport has always stood out, but not for the reasons you might expect. Why? Because it's boxed in, squeezed between downtown, the bay, and a maze of roads and buildings. There's no space to spread out, no extra land for more runways, and yet, with just a single 2,865-meter runway, this airport still manages to serve more than 2 million passengers every month. So how does it keep up? The truth is, it doesn't. Terminal 1, the airport's oldest terminal, was never built for this kind of pressure. Back in 1967, it opened as the East Terminal. At the time, it was designed to handle just 2.5 million people per year. That may have been enough back then, but times have changed. Tourism exploded. The tech industry grew. More people started flying in and out, including international travelers. Before long, the numbers skyrocketed. By 2019, Terminal 1 was handling more than 12 million travelers, while the entire airport saw close to 25 million people come through. Can you picture it? Long security lines, baggage systems struggling to keep up, and packed waiting areas with barely any space to sit. Everything was stretched thin and running on systems built for a different time. Something had to give. So, in 2021, the San Diego County Regional Airport Authority decided it was time to act. That year, they kicked off the biggest plan in the airport's history, a $4 billion program to replace Terminal 1 and modernize Terminal 2 East with the new Terminal 1 project as its centerpiece. And no, this isn't just about adding a few gates. This is about changing the entire experience, how people enter the airport, move through it, and feel while they're there. Why now? because the old terminal simply couldn't stretch any further, and because federal funding and airline partners aligned to make it possible. Grants from the FAA, totaling nearly $200 million, along with long-term airline lease agreements, set the financial foundation. More support came from bond issuances and sustainable infrastructure funds. And now, the clock is ticking. The first phase, 19 new gates, a state-of-the-art baggage system and a five-story parking plaza is already under construction and scheduled to open by 2025. After that, the old terminal will be demolished. Phase two will follow, adding 11 more gates by 2028. So what's going on behind the fences, cranes and steel? Let's step into the construction zone. So how do you rebuild a major airport terminal without shutting it down? Right now, that's exactly what's happening. Terminal 1 is being rebuilt right where it stands, while flights continue to take off and land just meters away. Think of it like changing an airplane's engine while it's flying. The stakes? They couldn't be higher. The new Terminal 1 will cover a massive 111,480 square meters and feature 30 modern gates, an upgrade from the 19 in the old terminal. To keep airport operations running smoothly during construction, the work is being done in two carefully planned phases. Phase 1 includes the first 19 gates, a 5,200 space parking garage, brand new security lanes and a large glass facade that fills the space with natural sunlight. This phase is expected to open by late summer 2025. Phase 2 will add the remaining 11 gates by early 2028. Who's behind this giant project? A powerful team, Turner Construction and Flatiron, joined forces to take on the job, aiming to build it smarter, cleaner and faster than ever before. Now let's talk about something you'll see right away from the outside. One of the most stunning parts of the terminal is called the Luminous Wave. It's a 274-meter long, 9.75-meter tall, curved wall made of glass. 
But it's not just for looks. It helps light up the terminal with natural sunshine while also blocking out heat and glare. Nearly 700 custom glass panels make it happen. And that smooth, wavy shape, it's a special design that reflects San Diego's ocean beauty and its bright future. Inside, things get even more impressive. So how do you move thousands of people quickly and easily? The new terminal has a smart setup, a dual-level roadway. One level is just for people leaving, and the other is for people arriving. That may sound simple, but it's a big deal. Right now, Harbour Drive gets jammed with over 45,000 cars every day. This new road setup will ease that traffic. And there's more. A brand new three-lane airport access road will go straight from Laurel Street to the terminal. That means getting in and out will be much faster and smoother. But what about parking? There's a brand new five-story parking structure with over 5,200 spaces. Even better, 10% of them are for electric cars with charging stations. The parking area connects right to the terminal with passenger bridges, and it's ready for both private cars and rideshare services. And once you step inside, what will you see? Travelers will go through 13 security lanes built to move people quickly and cut down waiting time. After that, there are big open waiting areas with lots of seats. There are also patios after security, places for kids to play, and even cool art by local and international artists. And if you get hungry or want to shop, don't worry. The first phase includes 19 restaurants and stores, many offering local food and products. But what's happening beyond the terminal itself? There's a lot going on behind the scenes to upgrade the airfield too. The airport's only runway is getting a big boost, with a new 1,920-metre taxiway and a shifted taxiway A. So what does that mean? Planes will move faster on the ground, spend less time waiting, and burn less fuel. That means quicker takeoffs, faster gate service, and fewer emissions in the air. And what about fueling all those planes? Instead of using trucks, fuel will now be delivered underground. A new hydrant system is being installed below the surface. This makes fueling safer, faster, and much cleaner for the environment. The whole project is focused on sustainability from the ground up. The terminal will use 100% renewable electricity. A special system will collect rainwater thanks to a huge 0.9 million gallon tank underground and reuse it, keeping it from flowing into San Diego Bay. Smart systems will control air and light inside the building. And everything is being designed to meet LED silver standards for green buildings. Even future problems aren't being ignored. The airport teamed up with the Scripps Institution of Oceanography to track sea level rise. At the same time, roads and power systems are being built stronger to handle heat waves and heavy storms. So how does a project this big stay on track? The answer lies in the data. Every single step is managed through Autodesk's connected platform. Engineers, designers and workers all use something called BIM, short for Building Information Modeling. It lets them see real-time updates, catch mistakes early and avoid delays. Everything, plans, drawings and files sits in one digital place. That way, no one is left guessing. This smart system helps over 1,600 workers and 500 contracting companies stay in sync every day. Want to know how hard they've been working? They've already logged more than 1.7 million hours. And here's the really wild part. They've done all of this without closing the airport. The old Terminal 1 is still open, while the new one rises next door. That means every move needs to be timed just right. Workers deal with noise limits, safety zones, and non-stop talks with air traffic control to keep planes moving safely. But the journey isn't over. Next comes phase two, adding 11 more gates, more places to sit, better lounges, and nicer spots to relax. By 2028, the full dream of the new T1 will be ready for takeoff. The second phase will not only complete the terminal's 30-gate configuration, but also expand its lineup of shops, restaurants, and family-friendly spaces like a new children's play area. Travelers will enjoy an outdoor post-security terrace with sweeping views of San Diego Bay and downtown, turning waiting time into a scenic experience. 
But the transformation doesn't stop at Terminal 1. Terminal 2 East is also undergoing a $14 million modernization, replacing and adding boarding bridges, renovating 3,048.5 square meters with new finishes, and upgrading lighting systems. These changes, while smaller in scale than T1's overhaul, ensure both terminals meet the airport's new standards for efficiency and passenger comfort. But what about community impact? Jobs are one answer. The project is expected to generate 15,000 to 20,000 construction-related jobs, many of them awarded to local, veteran-owned and disadvantaged businesses. Nearly 500 contractors have already worked on the first phase, logging over 1.7 million labour hours. With the topping out of the steel structure already completed, thousands of workers continue daily to bring the new T1 to life. Noise mitigation is another. More than 200 homes near the airport will receive upgraded windows, doors and insulation thanks to FAA grants linked to this expansion. The airport's Quieter Home program, backed by nearly $26 million in federal funding, is transforming homes inside the 65-plus decibel zone with weather stripping, caulking and air ventilation systems to reduce aircraft noise. And the airport is setting aside space between terminals for a future public transit station, part of its plan to eventually connect to regional rail. In the meantime, the airport is rolling out an all-electric shuttle service connecting travellers to the Old Town Transit Centre. New multi-use paths and bike lanes along North Harbour Drive will also make the airport more accessible for pedestrians and cyclists. With every piece of steel and every line of code, San Diego International Airport is building something bold, a gateway that blends sustainability, technology and traveller comfort into one seamless journey. So do you think this major makeover will solve the airport's problems or just create new ones? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications.